Hey guys, what you're looking at here is my SCAR 17S. This is going to be a short little video on what I've done to it. I haven't done a whole lot, so again, it is going to be a short video. So let's just go ahead and get started. I haven't put a lot of rounds through it, maybe about 500-ish, which really isn't that much. It still has the PWS muzzle brake on it, which is stock. Coming back, I have the PWS... SRX extended rail. This is good for two things. One, the handguard is really short on this and I like longer handguards so it gives me a place to really put my arm out front and with this angled foregrip it really helps to keep a good thumbs forward grip on it to help mitigate mu as much recoil as possible. There isn't that much recoil with the muzzle brake and just the how the, he the gun is quite heavy now. It does It's stock. It's maybe eight pounds now. It's about 10 or 11 with these optics but I'll get more into that in a second. And also the PWS rail also covers more surface area on the barrel so there's less to push on it if you say you're bench resting and you get more less of that you know like the beat pushing up on the barrel so it doesn't throw off your zero or anything while you're bench shooting. So I still really like the sights on this gun I haven't changed them out. The front sight locks I don't like the rear sight because it doesn't lock and it's honestly it's a little easy to push down but I usually shoot with optics anyway, although with the stock, it it points very nicely. It's really natural when you use the iron sights. So angled foregrip, not much to say on that. On the three o'clock position on the extended rail, I also use this little Surefire X300 Ultra. It's a really, really bright, uh, really bright light, and I switch these out on all my guns, so these will fit my handguns and any rifle I have with standard 1913 rails. I don't know exactly the lumens on this, but I think it's between four to 500 lumens on a little pistol light. It's really durable, it's a really nice light. And it only takes two CR123 batteries, and it seems the battery life lasts pretty long. I don't have to change them that often. So coming back here to the charging handle, this is a G&G &G angled charging handle. The normal one is normally straight, of course. And what I found with that is that I'll end up cutting my hands if under stress or just basic use of the gun and you end up cutting your hands especially on this EOTech that's why it's so far back sadly I'd like it a little farther forward because I honestly don't like this sight setup and I'll get more into it in a second but this is the GG and G angle charging handle and it kind of helps you with that a little bit keep get your hand out of the way you still kind of have to use the very tip of it in order to charge it but nice anyway. I don't like how the SCAR has a reciprocating charging handle, especially right around here because it's kind of where everything's going on and where a lot of your controls are. So you kind of hit yourself sometimes. Also, I don't shoot like this very often, but if you end up holding it by the magwell, you will hit your thumb and you'll learn really quickly not to do that. I, I've hurt myself a couple times doing that. So coming down here, this is still the stock lower. I know, I actually know the guys that make the handle defense. Uh, magnesium or aluminum I'm not sure what it was made of lower and what that does is allows you to use the SR25 308 mags which Magpul make and they're way cheaper than these I actually have a lot of these so I didn't switch because I didn't really deem it that necessary but if you buy a scar I say go for it and get that um, magnesium lower or aluminum lower I don't remember what it is I think it's aluminum and uh, go ahead and get that because mags are cheaper. Haven't any problems with this though. The only thing is there isn't really good extended magazine options. I do have some of these Molon Lab 25 round magazines. I did a video on that. I'll leave it in the link description below. First I was impressed but not as much anymore. They're okay for range mags but I wouldn't use them in any sort of defensive situation or anything like that. I, would, I wouldn't use them. Okay, coming back here, the pistol grip. This is an Ergo Scar grip. I did not modify it to accept AR-15 magazines. That's another good thing about that aluminum lower by Handle Defense is that it just uses AR-15 grips, which are a lot more plentiful and easier to find. Uh, trigger inside is the Geisley Super Scar Trigger. It's a really nice trigger. It's a little light, honestly. It's like a. It's kind of like. A mix between a two stage and a single stage because it's so daggone light that you don't really feel that two stage unless you're really going slow. The trigger is about two and a half, three pounds, so 
Um, the stock trigger in it, I actually really liked. It was smooth. It was maybe about five or six pounds, so it wasn't bad. But the Geisley trigger is really nice. I did a video on how to install it, and I'll leave a link to that below as well. Coming up here to the optics, I don't like the EOTech. I like the EOTech, but I don't like this setup on this gun. One, if you put it here, you kind of cut your hand on it. And the magnification right now, every time I want to use this, because I like to get my face and put it about here. And you can't see that on camera, but I like to get my my eye as close to the rear side as I can. So the where the EOTech sits is fine, but the magnifier gets in the way, so I find myself having to pull my head back in order to use that. So most of the time I actually shoot with this off. It's a really heavy system anyway. It's like a two, two and a half pound system. So it's most of the weight. You take that off, this gun feels way lighter. So I really just like running with the EOTech. I used to have an Aimpoint Micro T on it, but it looked kind of wimpy on this. And I would rather have some magnification. So this, I really only stick on if I'm bench shooting at distance. I really want to get like a traditional style scope or like a one to four, or one to six. I have a Swarovski uh, Z6i on my three gun rifle and I like putting it on here every once in a while. It's a really nice setup so I really think that's the way to go. For closer range the EOTech's fine but I still rather would have a 1 to 4 or 1 to 6 power scope. And coming back here the stock is still original and I haven't done anything with sling mounts because the slings I have seem to fit in this really well. What I've seen is if you don't have a sling that fits this very well get like a really heavy duty key ring and you can slide it excuse me, into one of these. And that's about it. So thanks for watching. I know the video is a little short, but remember to like if you liked the video. Maybe check out my channel for some other videos and maybe even subscribe while you're at it. So I really appreciate the subs and thanks for watching.